Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm Erica, and welcome to our podcast. This podcast is designed for English learners who want to practice their English listening skills. So let's get into it. So it's been a while since we've recorded podcasts. Uh, we've taken a little bit of a break. And you may have noticed we have some very special equipment, some premier uh, audio technology, thanks to our dear friend, Karis. Um, but I think overall, we've been, we've been doing a lot of different stuff. Right. We have a lot on our plate, which is an expression you can use if you're doing many different things, you feel very busy, you say, I have a lot on my plate. So we have been finishing a course, signing students up for that course. We have been filming our regular videos. And I have started something new. I have been writing songs for the channel. Yes, songs we feel are a great way to learn. Um, I remember lots of songs that I learned when I was learning Spanish for the first time in fifth grade. I still remember songs that I learned when I was 10 years old. So we are harnessing the power of songs, and Erica is a very accomplished musician, and so we're going to add that to our repertoire, which is very exciting. Very exciting, yeah. And I'd say apart from this project, we have other things on our plate in our regular lives. So we both play Ultimate Frisbee, which is a wonderfully fun sport, but also can be time consuming. Right, Sam? Very. And you have a lot of Frisbee on your plate. <laughs> yes, I have a lot of Frisbee on my plate. And it's something I am very passionate about, but it does it does take up a lot of time. So when we're talking about having a lot of things on our plate, sometimes we need to cut back. Absolutely. I actually have been focusing on cutting back on some things. So I was taking jazz piano lessons for the past couple months, and I looked at all the things I have to do, all the things I want to do, and I said... I need to cut back on some things, um, which is sad because you usually do things because you enjoy them. And I have many interests. You have many interests. So but to get anywhere on any of those interests, sometimes you need to cut things out. It's another phrasal verb or cut back. So I said, all right. What's on the chopping block? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and sadly, jazz lessons were on the chopping block, meaning um, for right now in my life, I'm going to stop with those um, because I want to make more time for composing, doing music, doing this project. I want to play Frisbee. Yeah, it's oh. impossible to, to do it all. It is. You have to choose. How about you? Are you cutting back on anything? I should cut back on Frisbee, um, but I don't know how. And I kind of refuse to. <laughs> so I am only adding more Frisbee things to my plate. Mm, I don't I don't know if I'm cutting back on anything anything important. I'm trying to add more time or find time, okay? So when we want to make time for something, we find time mm. to do some more creative pursuits like painting. I love painting. I find it very relaxing. Arts and crafts, origami. So I'm trying to find time in my evenings or my weekends to to fulfill that that need in my life. That reminds me of some other words we use. Um, maybe that is your me time. Definitely. Or self-care. Yes. Self-care is kind of a buzzword. It's sort of a well-known word by now. Um, but self-care can look like a lot of different things. Basically, finding time to do something that you enjoy and that replenishes your energy, refreshes you, can be, for me, it's doing arts and crafts and having some me time, being alone. For other people, it's treating themselves to a fancy dinner or a massage or something they don't usually do, maybe getting your nails done. What's your self-care, Erica? Absolutely. I also, I love art and painting, but I have not made space for that in my life currently. Um, but I think it would be 
good a good idea for me too because when I think of self care or me time, they activities that you know they they're not connected to your job or like you're not getting paid for them, and also they're very like low responsibility. Like no one's waiting for you to finish that painting you're working on. You know, you're, right. like, you're only doing it for you, for your own enjoyment, at your own pleasure to disconnect from all of your regular responsibilities. Um, so even though music, it, it is an outlet, of course, and I can consider that me time or self-care. Um, I'm also in a band. I'm going to start an o- another duo. I'm writing songs for this project. So it's not like totally disconnected from tasks I need I need to get done if, or like jobs. But if you were to sit down at the piano some afternoon and play Lady Gaga songs that you like, that, Absolutely. that, yeah. would, be, <laughs> that would be considered yeah, self-care. Yeah, it's not like getting ready for a gig or like recording something. Totally. So doing what what your what your soul is craving yeah yeah so i do enjoy that art music also hiking anything outdoors getting away from screens yeah speaking of screens something that's been making my me time a little more scarce has been my screen because you've noticed this i have started playing a very stupid game on my phone (laughs) i've seen you do that multiple times very stupid and very addictive and all of a sudden i sit down i sit down to play a little bit of this game which i will not name because i don't want a lawsuit and all of a sudden i look up and two hours have passed (gasps) oh no sam and it is such a time suck it is an absolute time suck It takes your time away. It sucks the time right out of you. You feel like no time has passed at all. And honestly, I don't think it's very fulfilling. It's not as fulfilling as, you know, doing something that I'm really passionate about or something I really enjoy, like painting or even like playing Frisbee or or working out. Okay. So after two hours of playing this game on your phone, you do not feel rejuvenated and (laughs) filled with energy. (laughs) It is not valid me time. Okay. It's not valid me time. Does that mean that you are planning to cut back on this game? Yes, I really I really should cut back. I'm going to cut back. Okay. Yes, I'm making a promise right now. Maybe we'll ask you the next time we record podcasts how yeah. that how that went if I've cut back. <laughs> well, Good. we would love to hear from you. Um what do you have on your plate right now? Do you have a lot on your plate? Are you trying to cut back on anything? And what do you do for your me time, for your your self-care, your alone time? What do you like to do? So let us know in the comments. And thank you for listening. We'll see you in the next episode.